Good morning. I am filming my March setup video and will also be going through the March monthly calendar. So I thought I would start this video with what I'm going to be using for March and we're going to do kind of a sped up version as I do the setup and then at the end I will do a quick like review. I do plan on making a few setup changes to my system. So I'll talk about those at the end. Um, I may or may not do a voiceover for the sped up portion. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out and master that skill, but um, I do like them being a little bit sped up, but I also think it's kind of nice if I can tell you what I'm doing when it's sped up. So we'll see. So for March, this is my favorite month. It is my birthday month. And so St. Patrick's Day has always held a special place in my heart. Um, it's a big birthday this year because I'm going to be turning 40 and I'm just super excited. So these are some of the things I've pulled for March. I got some clips from Berry Sweet Plans and the ones I've decided to use. I have another um, shamrock design. I should have pulled it. I'll probably put that on Instagram, but these are the ones I've decided I'm going to probably use. I don't know exactly which, but these are the ones I did. I just think these are adorable. I also pulled this one. I got it, I think, I don't know, but it's got navy and the green, but the green really matches my file effects. So I don't know. One of these. And then this is my bookmark from Ashley Lee Designs. I don't think she has this one anymore, but she might be doing a revamp or something. But I absolutely love this um, page marker. It's so cute. Then I'm going to show the kit that I'm using for my birthday week, and there's a reason. So Luckity, um, my friend Katie, who's shop Luckity on Etsy, she did a, I think she called it Patty Chic kit and it's along these lines. I've used some of these stickers and I'll be showing them but these are what I'm going to be using for my birthday week and I did go ahead and fill some of them out already because I want it to I want that week to look really good. So this is kind of the palette or the kit that I'm going to be using for my birthday week and this is my paper. I always do a paper at the front for decoration and this is going to be my paper. So I wanted to show you guys that. And the reason I wanted to show you that was because I talked to my friend Tiffany who does cardboard couture and she does dividers and stuff on Etsy. And I was like, hey, do you have anything for St. Patrick's Day? And so she um, showed me a couple different papers and we had one all picked out. And then she said, you know, hey, before I make this, I just wanted to show you these papers and see what you think. And it was actually the, the, I guess the clip art or the design that goes with the kit that I'm using for my birthday. So I'm super excited that it's all gonna match. But yeah, I've been looking for St. Patrick's Day dividers and I'm really excited about these. They're definitely for St. Patrick's Day because you know they have the shamrocks, but they have some pink and some spring. Um, Tiffany's dividers are really awesome. They are sized for A5, so they work wonderfully. And they're double-sided, so it's the same design on both sides. Um, to be honest with you, I'm still thinking about that first kit that we picked out, that I might pick that up as well, just because I really, really liked it a lot. But um, yeah, so that's why I wanted to show you the kit. So I actually have dividers that match the kit I'm gonna use for my birthday. Um, this is the uh, divider that I'm going to use. As you guys know, I am a hardcore Filofax fan. These are the original. This is a new one that came out, I want to say the end of last year. I think I've had it for a little while, but it's new. It came out 2016, I think, but it's pear is the color and it's absolutely gorgeous. I have some, I don't know why I have some old pages in here, but I'm really excited to have the tan interior. Um, it's a little different. The one I'm using right now is the um, fuchsia pink and it has the black interior with the black band. So yeah, it'll be a nice spring, spring like change. So what I'm going to do in this video again is I am going to um, switch things out. I am going to make some adjustments and either between the voiceover or the conversation at the end, we'll get that all worked out. But yeah, so here we go. Uh, 
Okay, so here we go. I am moving everything out of the way to get over to get everything switched over to my March notebook. So I'm putting in my dividers. I really didn't make any changes here, just kind of moving everything over. And then I'm going to make some changes. I think it's with the calendar. And I moved my notes section up, which is what you'll see right there. So for the most part, everything stayed the same. I did switch out to my March um, page marker from Ashley Lee Designs. I moved everything over from the last week of February. And then I decided I was going to add, um, and I think I do this later, that I'm going to actually add all the dividers and use them for forward planning. Um, with Inkwell Press, the dividers are separated from the actual um, from the actual pages, so you can use them separately. Adding in my homeschool stuff and putting in that one, and then okay, something happened here. Okay, so I think I got everything in, and then I decided to decorate the front with my clips, and I did look these up, and they all are. Um, ladybug on a pug so I was very excited because I get confused about that at the end and then I just moved my stuff that I keep in my front pocket over now, some of that I think I'm going to take out because I'm not using it every I don't think I need to be carrying it with me um, added some more note paper this is paper that I get from yellow paper house one of my favorite places and then here's where I'm going to add those dividers like I was talking about and this idea came to me because I had so much stuff coming up for June and no place to put it. And then I thought, well, what if I took some of the extra months out and just had the dividers in with um, some paper that I'm going to talk about from Minted Sugar at the end of the video um, and add that in. And I thought, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It should work. So this is kind of a quick plan with me because it's just really the switch over. And then I'll go over my monthly calendar at the end of the video. And then this is my homeschool planning and then the struggle of trying to decide which clip was I going to put in there from Berry Sweet Plans. And I went with my shamrocks and got it all in and I think that was it. And then it looks like I flip back through and do something. But I don't know what. Um, not sure what I'm doing here. I guess I'm just flipping it around for you guys so you can see everything. This pretty much wraps up this sped up portion. Like I said, it was kind of short. I hope this is helpful. And if, remember, if you have any questions, please don't forget to either ask me here or follow me on Instagram. And you can see spreads that are completed um, and anything additional, usually planner finds and things like that. I hope you guys have a good day and here's the rest of the video. Okay guys, so the switch or changeover is complete. Um, I'm super excited about this month. It's, you know, the sun started shining and it starts getting pretty again and this just makes me super, super happy. So I wanted to just kind of go through real quick and show you what I did. Um, I love my little vinyl clips. I use them mostly for decoration for fear of something happening to them. I get a huge majority of my clips from um, Ladybug on a Pug. I know there's a couple other shops that I have done and I'm going to search through my Etsy orders because I'm not 100% sure um, where all of my clips come from, but I will make sure and add that to the description box below. So check that out. Um, if I'm wrong and these are not by Ladybug on a Pug, I'm sorry, but I will give you credit below. I just cannot. There's like two or three shops I've found really good vinyl clips from and I cannot remember them. Ladybug on a Pug is just super easy to remember. Don't ask me why. But anyway, I have a shamrock that says Lucky Charm and I did a rainbow here. This is just a piece of, um, scrap paper, scrapbooking paper that I had that just happened to match perfectly. I love to have a something here colorful. And then I have some Filofax notes and a sticky notepad. Try to make it match if I can kind of thing. 
In my front pocket, I just keep um, a few things. Uh, this is a birthday invitation that I need to RSVP to. I keep some Inkwell Press stickers. Um, I keep Christiane Design uh, number stickers here, and I have some Heidi Swap ones as well. These are stickers from my newest addiction. I keep a couple of those up here. Um, that's really all that's in there, just stuff that kind of needs my attention or that I need to do something for. Like I said, these are my dividers from Cardboard Couture, and um, I have I always keep a flyleaf from Filofax on there. So I have that. I keep my kids' uh, pictures here with some more of those Filofax papers. Um, I really love these. They're not sticky notes. I don't know if you can kind of see, but they have holes in them, and so they are meant to like clip in. Um, but they're not sticky. So I do find them incredibly useful if I just want to stick something in there and not forget or especially if it's something I'm worried I'm going to lose. So you know how sticky notes can sometimes lose their sticky. So um, yeah, those are just Filofax. I got those from Amazon, I believe. I'm going to put those in there. Um, my next section is personal addresses and stuff. So, But I do want you to see the divider. So this is the divider that I put that in. And then whoop, this is the next divider, which I absolutely love. And then we'll flip it over. So there you go. This is my notes section. These are all um, paper pads that I get from Inkwell Press. Um, the Just Start, I always keep, I try to keep three pages of each. So I always keep a couple of Just Start in here, um, the Daily Docket and the Daily Download if I need those. I keep those in there. My next gorgeous divider. This is just some extra paper. Um, I do, my kids have colors. So I order, this is all paper from Yellow Paper House. And I order notepads from, or not notepads, but packs of paper. And then I do actually order them in my kids' colors. So this is my daughter, this is my other daughter, this is my son, and then this is my other son. So I always try to have a couple sheets in there. Um, if I have something specific to one of my kids, I will put it on their color and stick it where it's appropriate. And then I always keep some white lined paper. Um, this is the next divider. And then this is just some acetate that I picked up. I think this was at Michael's along with the K sticker and just kind of made a little cover for my calendar. I absolutely love it. It makes me smile every time I see it. And then here is my calendar. Now here's where I made a couple of changes and we're going to kind of see how this works. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I got some notepads from a shop called Minted, Minted Sugar. And I usually buy the personal size notepads. I have a Kate Spade one and a couple others. And what I use them for is this. So in weeks that are coming up, I will stick one of these um, notepads. This is a Kate Spade one. And then I think in my last week in March, yes, this is one from Minted Sugar. And I just love it. It's light pink, it's just so cute. Um, I ordered some in the A5 size because I got this idea. I love using these for forward planning, but I'm finding that I sometimes need to plan further ahead in months um, than I want to keep in my uh, file or in my file effects. Um, right now, I've got March and April, the full month. Um, but I'm just finding that, you know, things are, I've got a lot of things, for example, June is like completely booked up all of a sudden. I have it all in my phone and I have it written down, but I kind of sit there and go, okay, you know, what am I going to do when I need to forward plan that far in advance? So I, I ordered some more of these pads. I love the paper. It's wonderful quality. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I, I had this idea with Inkwell Press um, each month has these dividers and I thought well what if I put the dividers in through the end of the year and I stuck one piece of paper for each month so that I can I would have the month here so I have the dates and the way they fall um, that I can write that kind of stuff down um, to do's that come up and things like that so I'm gonna be giving that a try my paper I think gets here later this week like first weekend in March. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to give that a shot. So that was the, ch the big change that I made. And I kind of did reorganize things. I do have a homeschool section on my rings, but this is mostly um, our yearly goals. Um, 
information and things that come up as a director, my, you know, my tax deductions as a director, um, our schedule, um, like the cal community schedule calendar, things that I have to refer to, but I'm it's a section that I'm rarely, that I rarely have to have like open and done. But as you can see, I can do that. So I did move my notes section up and move this a little bit further back. And then of course my quarterly planner is inserted back here. This is my homeschool planner. So I did insert that. Um, I did also add, there's another fly leaf at the back. Filofax just came with it. And then I, this beautiful um, dashboard is from Silent Poetry Arts. And I have two of these, but I love this tree pattern and it's got, it's gold foil and it's just beautiful. And it has ever so slightly a little bit of green in it. It's like a mint green. So I really thought this was, was appropriate. Um, I decided for right now to go with my gold shamrocks. I'm really torn <laughs> between these two, um, but that's, you know, options. I can, I can accessorize and change as I need to. So that was my big change. Um, I always have my my extras section and I have my notes section from uh, Inkwell Press in here. Um, this is this week and actually I think the plan with me will, yeah, the plan with me will load up today. Um, I think that's everything. I'm really excited, absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite, um, favorite covers that I have. I just absolutely love the color of it. Um, my system is working really well for me. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I mean, things have been going really well. I'm really enjoying having weekly layouts again. Um, if I find that I need a daily page, I have the daily docket from Inkwell Press. So, so far, I really haven't felt that I needed it. Um, I am taking each previous month out, but what I'm trying to do right now is to keep the dividers in. And so like in January, I didn't really have anything, but in February I had some note pages and some ideas um, that I wanted to keep. So that's kind of what I'm using these for. Right now it's working, it's not too much. Um, yeah, so we'll kind of see how that goes. And then this is my um, weekly kickstart uh, that I have. Um, for each week. So just like normal, I just keep those, you know, in the divider ahead. Um, so we're going to see how that works. I, I've, like I said, you know, this, this month, um, June came up and some plans for summer vacations and things like that. And I was like, what am I going to do? So this idea hit me. So we're going to kind of give it a try and see, we're going to use the dividers. Um, I'm going to add one sheet of that paper from minted sugar when it comes and do that for forward planning. And then I think I'm just gonna keep the current month and the next month in my planner. And then I also wanted to give you guys a look at my monthly planner, I almost forgot. Um, here's all my notes for everything I wanted to do today. We can, I've done them so I can pull that out. Um, and I, I wanted to try and do a um, monthly planner, a monthly plan with me, but I find that I start doing that off camera when my husband, when I get my husband's schedule. So it, it just doesn't work all the time, but um, I'm gonna keep working on it and hopefully we will get one. But um, as I start my month, I always have my monthly mission board. Um, and these, this is what this is. And you know, in, in full disclosure, um, I'm really trying to focus on getting my priorities, you know, back in order. So I'm, you know, revisiting those and making sure that I'm working on what I need to be. Um, I'm also going to be giving the 21 day fix a try from Beachbody. Um, I always have a Bible verse here that I really enjoy. And then this month I'm tracking quiet time activity and journaling. Um, I always put one sticker down from my mini hexagons that I got from uh, Shimmers and Sparkles plans. I think they're SAS plans on Etsy. She has a sheet of mini hexagons in each color scheme, and that's what I use to fill these in. Um, someone asked me if I actually take the time every single day to do that, and what I actually do is I always put down the first one so that I remember what color I decided I wanted to use. And then I actually just put tiny X over the number. And then on 
Friday nights or something, once a week or every couple weeks, I put the hexagons down. So I like that it looks really nice at the end of the month, but I do not, because I have to use my tweezers for those, and I don't always have these with me, and I don't carry the hexagons with me, so yeah, just that's how I'm doing it. Um, I did use the um, hexagons from Luckity from my birthday kit to do my mission board this month, and I, I just absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. And then I have some Fox and Pip stickers here. I actually use a lot of Fox and Pip for my mission board this month. And then this is my month. So um, I used these two washi, and I have it marked because I didn't want to forget, from Washi Supply Company. Um, I felt that the... I think these are hibiscus. Mm, I can't remember, but I thought this looked really good with the kit, and I absolutely loved these watercolor shamrocks. So where it's together here is just marking off April and February days. Um, the stickers are from Luckity and Inkwell Press, or no, I'm sorry, from Luckity, Inkwell Press, and Knockout Print Shop. And then I also have some Mambi stickers here to mark birthdays. These are Chrissy Ann Design stickers for birthday, and this is a sweet Kawhi design. I like on the side over here to put like movies that are coming out. That's what I thought of using. Um, I did change my top five to a gratitude, and I try to make sure and do that. Um, this washi is from Simply Gilded, and it marks my husband's work schedule. Uh, da, 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 da. And then the big thing this month, I'm super excited. I am going on a trip to New York for my birthday um, for a couple days with one of my best girlfriends. And I'm just super excited. I've never been. I can't wait. So if you guys have things I've got to see or places that I've got to try the food or anything, you know, put comments below because I'm, I'm super, super excited. Um, as always, these purple mark our homeschool community days. And I think that's it. Um, yeah, so that's my month. My goal is to eventually do a to uh, do a plan with me on this, but it just hasn't it just hasn't happened yet. Um, and like I said, when I get my husband's work schedule, I kind of fill that out, and then everything else kind of just starts coming in. Um, yeah. And that's it. And we have some. We have a party this month, and we have a, a have an event for CC that I'm going to be doing um, some work for. Uh, we have a field trip. Our new couch will be delivered um, this month, which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah. So this is what my month looks like. This is how I mark it. I do like gold. I like a little shimmer. So I do love that. Um, and I'm just absolutely loving it. So tomorrow, I think is March 1st. Is it tomorrow? Yeah. So this plan with me slash setup video slash update video will um, go up on March 3rd, which is this Friday. And so you guys will see that then. And we'll have, uh, if all goes well, there will be a plan with me later today for this week. But that's the plan. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I hope you're looking forward to a, a, just a tremendously blessed March. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.